Hello, collective. Welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Okay, so for somebody out there, you are being advised to focus on what you can do right now rather than let me see how to put this uh so your thoughts may be raising all over the place you're being told to focus on what you can do now rather than the what is so if there's something like you are trying to if you have a whole bunch of things to do try to do try to approach it with like a one at a time kind of thing don't try to you know do too much um with your time do not try to like overload yourself and things like that basically take it one day at a time so i don't know what it is you have going on um i don't know if you're someone that overworks or you tend to take on a little bit too much but you are being advised to basically do things one at a time uh, so i don't know if you run a company or you run some type of empire or you just you're someone that just has too much going on try to do it like a little bit at a time not overburdening yourself okay because when you overburden yourself and take on too much that's when you tend to burn out and let go of things that are really important to you or things that you should be focused on so try to take it uh try to approach your life and your tasks your duties and responsibilities that way um so there could be a family out here um that maybe they were celebrating or they were hoping to have things go their way um i do see the nine of cups to the ten of cups um and then to the two of swords so they were hoping to have things kind of go their way as far as being able to stop someone block someone or put some type of uh, a barrier between some type of wish fulfillment for somebody else okay and this is something they've been working on for a very long time so they may have been celebrating or they were hoping that things will go in their favor there may still be something out here where it's like these people are very angry very pissed off i don't know if there's a decision that was made that's not going in their favor so they're probably pissed off um it's kind of like um there's this thing where like dark workers or karmics do, they're always celebrating something that has not been completed yet. So it's that they come up with a plan to sabotage you or something or to take you out or whatever. And it doesn't go according to plan. But before they even execute that plan, they're celebrating that they've defeated a light worker or they've defeated something. They've put a stop to God's plan or something as if anybody can do that. Uh, so there may be something where people are pissed off behind the scenes because on some type of manipulation is not working. Some type of scare tactic, scarcity tactic is not working. Uh, so you may have people that are pissed off. Judgment is not in their favor. There could be some type of, it's that like somebody doesn't know what to do. It's that right now all they can, all they're able to do is, it's like to keep doing the same thing. But whatever they're doing is not producing any results okay uh so let's say like somebody let's say you work a nine to five and your boss or whoever like your supervisor your manager or someone they don't like you working there uh so they found find a way to get you to to uh not be at work so basically they keep putting people in your spot or something keep filling in your spot and they keep telling you oh we don't need you today oh we don't need you today oh we don't need you today uh they're trying to do this so that eventually you'll end up quitting the job and you won't want to come anymore. But there's something, maybe someone has been doing that for a long time and you're still not putting in your resignation. I'm just using that as an example. You're still not putting in your resignation. You still keep showing up to work when you when they let you 
or you keep waiting for things to change because you already know something is going to change, right? You're trusting the universal balance the situation out. And that's exactly what's happening is that someone is continually doing something, hoping for some type of results that things are going to go in their favor, that you're going to give up, you're going to stop doing something, you're going to, uh, I, just heard, I just heard shut up, you're going to shut up, you're going to stop uh, uh, talking, you're going to stop showing up, as I said, but it's like it's not going in their favor, so they feel like they got to keep going. I don't know if somebody's working with like a king of pentacles or a king of cups to keep doing something, and they feel like, feel like the longer they go, you're more than likely to give up, but you're not going to give up. Uh, there's a lot of anger and jealousy when it comes to like a king, queen of swords. And I believe you are this queen of swords that people are very angry with you for standing your ground, speaking your truth, uh, being the queen of swords, basically being intellectual, being very brilliant. It could even be to the point where the people that are coming up against you, you may even be more brilliant than most of them. Um, and this is something maybe they were trying to hide because this queen of swords keeps coming. Something about intelligence keep coming up in my reading. So I feel like there's something where it's like people may have said that you were not intelligent. You were not competent. You were not someone to take serious. You had a mental issue you have this you have that you have some type of condition going on and it turns out that you are freaking brilliant maybe even like a genius or something like that like you are very like in like your level of intelligence maybe even astounding somebody that told people that you were maybe illiterate maybe incompetent maybe mentally ill whatever this is but at the bottom line these people are not getting wish fulfillment something will be balanced out uh, there may be something someone has been doing, maybe they don't want to do anymore. Maybe they feel bonded to a contract. They may even be sick while they're doing something. Uh, so I don't even know like what the specifics are. I don't know if somebody signed a contract. They didn't read the fine print. Um, they may even be angry at, <clears throat> at you for working or you keep working or you keep doing something. Now, I don't know if this is like a masculine energy. Or feminine energy, it doesn't matter because energy is fluid. Um, it could be a man or a woman, but somebody or a group, they're very angry with you that you keep working. You're still committed to your task. It's like, at this point, it's like, we don't see the point of this person working. Like, why do they keep doing this? Why do they keep showing up? Why do they keep selling products? Why do they keep trying to sell products? We're not letting them sell products. We're not letting people buy their products. Why do they keep applying? We're not going to let them get this. Why do, is there something like that? Is that? What is the point of them doing this? And that's because these kind of people, they, there are things in life they still haven't learned at their age. They are still in some type of immature mindset because of some of us, we grow in, we grow in age, but we don't mature. So that there's some type of aspect of life these people don't yet know, and it may be nearly impossible for some of them to comprehend. And that is because of their limited mindset that they have, or some of them are just very small-minded. Um, they don't quite understand how the world operates, but because they've imposed some type of wicked mindset onto other people, they've imposed some type of malicious system, they want to say that, oh, you don't understand how the world works. This is how the world works. Everybody's malicious. Everybody is wicked. Everybody is in that dog eat dog world. Everybody uh, it, uh, will betray you. Okay, people are only loyal to you when there's a common goal in uh, in place as far as money. If there's money involved, then people are loyal to you. It's something like that. Like they want you to feel like you have something wrong with you since you're the one that has a positive mindset. You're optimistic. There's something where they may be even trying to kill your vibes. It's that we don't want this person being positive. positive. We don't want them being optimistic. We don't want them being hopeful or anything like that. We don't want them to have any type of uh, uh, belief that they're going to have a new beginning. But these are not people that are in charge. They don't even have power over themselves because people because people that have power over themselves don't even interact or do things like this with other people. There's something where it's like a group of people have given their power away. I don't know if they had to sign a contract on the bloody line, bloody line, or they took some type of money. Some promises were made to them that they were going to get something if they kept going with something. I don't know what it is, but some they, 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 I keep getting the notion that some people within an institution, within a group, gave their power away to somebody either a queen of pentacles reverse queen of swords reverse or whoever but they give their power away in some way or somehow so they may be binded to something i don't know if somebody was tricked 
into giving away their power, their independence or something. I see a man that may have given his power away. Maybe he feels binded with these people. This could be like a king of pentacles that feels binded. I don't know the truth about that. But I do some, see something in here about the devil, the, uh, which has typically to do with like being binded, being stuck. Uh, toxicity, overindulging in unhealthy uh, behaviors and activities and things like that, basically bondage. Uh, so I don't know if he signed a contract with a Queen of Swords reverse or something like that, or just this institution, or this Queen of Pentacles that's trying to steal from somebody. Uh, whatever it is, he feels restricted. He may even be living in fear. I said fear split the deck. It went to the Nine of Wands. And the nine of swords so someone is living in a lot of fear and then it just went on the freaking eight of swords someone is living in a lot of fears there's a lot of anxieties and things like that going on behind the scenes that you may not be privy to you as the divine energy maybe the universe is protecting you from these people so that you don't uh you don't uh um uh, you know get involved or if nothing happens to you that you stay protected and Things of that nature. These people can go through their hullabaloo alone. Uh, they open Pandora's box. So they're going to have to figure out how to close Pandora's box. And I find it real interesting because that keeps coming up in my reading. Something about Pandora's box. So I don't know if people, if these people release some type of demonic entity as far as an energy or something. And they got to keep feeding this energy. They're not able to keep feeding this energy. I don't know if they offer you up as a sacrifice. They're not able to pr produce you. you. They never will be able to produce you because that is not your purpose in this lifetime. You don't have that calling on your life to be a sacrificial lamb for a demonic entity. So if if these people got together and did some type of ritual, because Pandora's box keeps coming up, they're in for a whirlwind of chaos. Like I, I this this thing. This demonic entity, first of all, is, it wouldn't even want anything to do with the likes of you because th there's something about whatever these people have released. Like, this is something where it's like an energy looks at you and they say, mm -mm, no, I can't do it. Like, why would you bring that one here? I can't take that one. That one doesn't belong to me. I can't have that one. Whatever they have conjured up, it can't have you. It wouldn't even take you if it were to meet you. Okay. These people even may need help with putting something away or getting rid of an energy. You may be able to help them, but I wouldn't help these people for nothing in the world if I was you. They wanted they wanted to play with magic. Let them play with magic. This is how people learn the hard way not to do certain things. So I don't know what kind of entity has consumed these people or is attached to these people. Whoever said the spell did the work, they're the ones that need to figure out how to get rid of this entity. But I keep hearing something about Pandora's box. Like somebody opened Pandora's box and released Pandora. Now they got to figure out how to put Pandora back in her box. And it's going to be a long ride for you. Okay. Um, there may be a lot of anger, a lot of loss. Um, people may be angry at someone for feeling, you know, uh, remorseful for something that they've done. Or being remorseful for losing a connection with you. There could be a masculine that is going through a lot of remorse and things like that. Because of the fact that they've lost some type of very essential relationship to you or with you. So this could be somebody that's part of your soul tribe. Your cosmic family. Uh, and you had a contract with this person. Maybe to build with this person. Maybe to uh, help this person heal, establish themselves and things like that. But maybe somebody met you and you came in a package that they were not expecting. For example, maybe somebody was looking for an older person, a uh, more mature looking person. Maybe he's into uh, yellow bones or something like that. You know, those really superficial mindsets of people. They ask for something from the universe. The universe produces it or provides it for them. But because you show up in a package that they're not expecting or they're not accustomed to, they reject you. It could also be, I don't know if it's necessarily that this person rejected you. They may have had people in their ear telling them that you were something that you were not. Uh, like you're a thief or you misrepresent yourself and somebody decided not to listen to their better judgment. And so now they may be feeling trapped with these people. And I don't know what to tell this person, but uh, you're going to have to find your way, I guess, 
how out of this i keep hearing contract like i don't know what kind of contract this is is it verbal is it written whichever one it is it's still binding so you got to find your way out of it i don't know if they give you money maybe give the money back let them know you're not interested in uh being in a partnership with them but there's something where a masculine may have bonded himself to a woman a coat a clothing an institution and maybe you are under the presumption that this this contract is only for a specific amount of time well if you don't figure out how to get yourself out of this contract this is something that's going to be uh, going into multiple other lifetimes this is why it's very important for you to be aware of what it is you're involving yourself with in who you're involving yourself with and things of that nature these contracts that you all make they're not just like short-term contracts these are contracts that go into other lifetimes some of you have been incarnating stuck in the same contract living the same karmic uh, experience for multiple lifetimes and you don't understand and you don't know that and when we the light community try to tell you that you call us crazy you call us uh delusional schizophrenic you know all those cute and fancy words that you all tend to use to describe us but there's somebody that's finding out the hard way that he binded himself to a coat or a lunatic because this queen of pentacles i've been picking up on her this is a lunatic uh he binded himself to these people and maybe he would like a way out but don't know how to get out and if you accept that money from them this will be your way to get out give them the money back i don't know if they paid you half now and they're going to pay you half later uh give them the half that they give you and relinquish the other one that they owe you if they're paying you to keep doing something stop taking money from them because there's something that's going to go on for so long like your mental health is going to become so unstable you won't be able to recognize who you are it may even be at that point now where you don't even know who you are anymore you may have some type of sickness that you're going through and you're trying to heal i see like poverty coming for somebody like a king of pentacles you're you're headed for poverty poverty is the road that lies ahead i've been saying that in my reason you all just aren't listening you feel like because you're in numbers and a queen of pentacles reverse or whoever this is in a community has made you all a lot of promises and things like that nothing's coming out of these promises that were made to you the most high is not, obviously the, the most high is not going to put a calling on somebody's life and then allow a group of uh, uh dark people to just go and consume that person Whatever you all have been doing, there has been a reason and a purpose for why it's been being allowed to be done. That does not mean that you have had some type of victory. The universe will let you have temporary victories. You win the battle, but you lose the war. You know what I mean? So it's something like that. Whatever you all are doing is not going to bear you any fruits. This is something where you put in a lot, a lot of labor into something and you get nothing out of it. So I don't know what kind of promises somebody has been making you all, but it's all empty promises. And she knows that as well. This woman knows that. Okay. It's just not something where it's like she, she she's not aware. Somebody knew exactly why she was having people do something. She always knew it was not going to have any type of return on investment or anything like that. But she went ahead and had you all do it uh, because of hatred because of uh, insecurities, because of animosity. She does not want to be in a world where she sees somebody else living a happy life. And that's because there's something wrong with this woman's mental. It's not stable. So you all may want to start asking some important questions to this woman so that the truth can come out. But whoever you are, Queen, uh, King of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords in reverse as well, you got poverty coming your way. Like You are about to lose everything. This uh, Queen of Pentacles reverse is about to be under some type of judgment. There's some type of, someone may end up filing for bankruptcy, is about to lose everything. Like some type of instability that's going to take place in a family is not going to be happy. Like someone tells them was gonna, things are going to go in their favor, like wish fulfillment and all of that. But then they're finding out that they're about to be bankrupt. Uh, things are not going in their favor, losing all their money, their stability. And I believe that's why the universe had me give you all that message where it said um, a, a kingdom will fall, but all the all of these calamities must come to, un, to a past. 
a mother and son relationship will be no more, okay? The bottle will lose its companion. The mansion will become a fool by itself. Uh, fruit, strange fruits will hang from the tree. And what did it say? Uh, the sick will seek healing, but will not be able to find it. So there's something in there for every single one of you that partook in something. Death is literally knocking on somebody's door um, and just... You, you, you just stand to lose everything. And I don't know why you are invested in something like this because it never had a purpose. There never was anything in here that had to do with principle. Someone misled you all down the wrong path. It's like somebody led you all down into the slaughterhouse and you are happily following this person based on false promises. Someone has mastered the art of, uh, uh, of manipulation. So she knows exactly what to say to manipulate you all. But we keep telling, and I've picked up on this too on other, on other uh, practitioners' channels. We all keep telling you the same thing. You are not getting anything out of what it is you've been participating in. Even if you get money now, that money ain't going to last you long enough to be to even justify what you had to do to get to to, to get that money. The curse you've put on yourself is going to be way worse than even the money you're receiving. So someone in here is very greedy and that's why they've been doing something. But your greed is going to undo you, okay? I, I don't really know how else to tell you all. Like, it's not you're not getting out of something what you think you're going to get. But literally somebody... <laughs> like you are there's some type of financial issue that you are are about to be experiencing that it could have been preventable but because somebody's ego told them to keep going they kept going with something uh there may be something where even people are trying to force some type of reunion between two people their reunion ain't happening it's not happening. It's like they're trying to force a reunion between two exes so that somebody does not get with a new partner. Their reunion ain't never going to happen. It's not meant to happen. There's no reconciliation between these two people. The contract between the both of them is over, okay? If there were karmic, karmic uh, debts to be paid, those karmic debts have been paid. If one party didn't learn the lesson and is still choosing not to learn their lesson, that's their business. But the other party has learned the lesson. They've paid their karmic debt. And they're choosing to move on. Got to respect that. So you're not going to force any type of reunion between two people that's not meant to be. The universe is not permitting that. Okay? And you stealing from somebody is not a judgment that the universe is allowing. They are not supporting you. Your ancestors are not supporting you. Whoever this queen of pentacles reverse is. Your ancestors are not supporting your decisions to keep stealing from someone or to try to steal from somebody. Like you are putting yourself in a deeper hole than you already are. And it's not going to get any better just because you keep going with something. It's not. You're unhinged at this point. You've lost control. You need to admit that you've lost control. You may even be experiencing some type of stalemate yourself while you're blocking or, uh, blocking or stopping someone or trying to keep from someone what belongs to them. You yourself are going through stillness. You're going through problems. There are no plans. You don't know what else to do. You destroy somebody's life in many different ways based on a false narrative. And people at this point know that you're doing something out of maliciousness. It's not because of anything justifiable. You keep you, you preach a lot about loyalty and you don't even have loyalty to the people that you have been using. Like they're chess pieces to you. They're opponents in a game to you. And they're here vouching their loyalty and things like that. It, does, it, is all, it all has to do with the fact that you have secrets to keep. There's an ulterior motive for why you're doing something. That Queen of Swords reverse is the same way. Like, I, I don't know what it is. Like, it's going to be towers after towers after towers. And the towers have to do with those calamities. There's some type of financial issue that's going on in your life, in your institution, whatever this is. Um, you, someone keeps working and you keep stopping them from achieving their abundance. And it's the same thing that's about to happen to you. Absolute same thing. You want to cause someone financial problems. You want to cause someone all kinds of issues and things like that. And it's because you're insecure. You don't got nothing to do with the person you're doing it to. It's because of your insecurities. You, you didn't mature the right way. And you don't like to hear the truth about yourself. But you're a little girl playing a, 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 a role. 
you haven't grown up, you haven't matured, you don't want to put in the work to mature, you're like a sad and pathetic creature just walking around, just insecure as can be. Like, why, why are you just focused on somebody else? That's the question people need to be asking. But you've made them a lot of promises. Uh, you've made them feel like there's something wrong with uh, another energy when you are the real problem and things like that. I don't know what is it. Like you got a mental illness. You have a mental illness. That like you're destroying, you're, you're doing something behind the scenes, but causing illusions and things like that. I don't know if you're trying to act like you're going to invest in a king of a king of cups or something. Listen, I don't know who this king of cups is. He better run. He better run and go start fresh somewhere else. So I want to invest into you. They're not. She's not investing into you. She's paying you to do something. I'm telling you, that's how this woman does something. She makes it seem like she's investing in people. It's a bribery. It's an illusion. It's an illusion. It's not an investment. It's a bribery. And that's how she gets these people trapped in whatever it is that she's getting them trapped into. She makes it seem like she's donating money to them. She's investing in their future, in their companies, in their dreams. But really, it's bribery. Because if she comes in and she gives you, let's say, a check for $50,000. Ain't nobody ever gave you a check for $50,000 before. So now when she, you know, she comes back later and she asks you to do something, you don't want to do it. But hey, she's the woman that gave you the $50,000. The whole time you didn't realize she was bribing you. This is how this woman moves. And sometimes she'll come in and it's straight business. She'll tell you exactly why she's doing something. She's giving you this check to support her, her mission, her cause. And you decide you want to go along with it. You go along with it. But that's very, that's very rarely. Her main tactic is to manipulate. She uses her body. You know, you have women that walk around real, real sexual and things like that. Trying to look, trying to act like she's sexy or something. And, 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 and put on this show acts like she's your friend, gets real crafty and creative with her words and things like that. Like someone is very manipulative. Like there is nothing genuine that comes out of this woman's mouth. And while she's doing that, she's paying you to block somebody. She has you being monitored. She's invading your privacy. So you're not just invading that person that she, she don't pay you to do. She's, you're not just blocking that person. She's monitoring you because she already knows. Like if you're willing to work with me, I already know I got to watch you. So... It's like, you know, there's no honor amongst these. There's no loyalty, but they're under some type of distorted loyalty. Like they're, they're proving their loyalty to each other. It don't make no sense. I don't know, I hope, I don't know if this King of Cups is seeing, seeing things clearly now that maybe he sabotaged the wrong person or himself in, real, in reality. Whoever this is, they're trying to steal from you as well, King of Cups. I don't know if you're in this community. You went and joined this community, partner up with this community, whatever it is. They're trying to steal from you. You could be a, a, a you could be the divine being that this is in regards to. But maybe you're having some type of truth um, about sabotaging someone trying to keep doing something, whatever this is. Uh, maybe you have a full understanding now that something has been stuck because of what people have been doing. Uh, maybe you want to put an end to someone's security. I don't know what this is, but I know she's paying you to do something. It's not an investment. I wish people would stop saying it's an investment. It's not an investment. They're paying you to sabotage the security of a Queen of Cups. That's what it is they're doing. You all have been coming after a Queen of Cups for I don't know how long. It's not going the way you want it to, and you still want to keep going, trying to force a reunion between two people. Queen of Cups, be careful. There may be somebody that wants to meet with you and cause you some illusions, okay? The meeting, they're coming in to gaslight you so they can have you confused. Because we got this, the Queen of Cups to the Six of Cups to the Eight of Swords. Move on. Don't even entertain that stuff. Someone is being sent in your energy to confuse you. They're coming in to cause illusions. This, 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 these people, this couple, this family, 
They're working very hard to cause illusions and things like that about two people being together, two people meeting, the connection between two people, blah, 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 blah. So they may want to set up some type of uh, 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 coincidental meeting. It's not coincidental. They may even want to send somebody in and make it seem like it's a genuine outreach where he wants to meet with you. You two can talk, reconcile, come to common grounds, have a clear understanding and things like that. And it's all to confuse you. Like he's going to come in and tell you all kinds of stuff that don't even make no sense. He's not coming in with the truth. He's coming in with a bunch of lies, a whole lot of lies. And he's being sent. Okay. He's being paid. To confuse you. He's being paid to manipulate you. It's a form of black magic, obviously, right? So move on. Do not get back with this person. Do not accept nothing from them. Uh, don't hold any grudges in your heart against this person. But this is not a friend of yours. Okay? There's something that is falling apart in these people's lives. I don't know. They're losing a business. They're losing finances. Uh, they're hitting your finances and they're losing finances as well. They're trying to, yeah, a lot of projections, a lot of uh, 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 destruction, destroying your, your, your growth, destroying communication, sabotaging communications. You're not supposed to receive this. You're not supposed to receive that. Somebody trying to communicate with you, they're blocking that. They're destroying it. Like they, if somebody's trying to email you. They're blocking the emails. If somebody's trying to contact you through text messages, they're blocking that. So just be just thread with caution because I have the Queen of Swords to the Five of Pentacles, Ten of Swords to the Eight of Wands. That means that she's doing something. She's leaving her institution, her community to go and sabotage somebody's growth. She's the one doing something behind the scenes. It's a Queen of Swords within the community that's doing something, sabotaging someone else's growth. Doing a lot of projection. She may even want to come physically in your energy to project onto you. Because this woman doesn't have access to you. In, in, like she, there's something where it says she's sending communication, but you ain't reading it. If it's making it through, you're not reading it. You're not opening it. So she's desperate now. Like this is how pathetic these people are. She's desperate now. So she's going to come into your physical energy, like in your home, in your community to project on this is how pathetic this is this is somebody's mother more than likely somebody's grandmother that's out here doing this that's why i said people are age in numbers but, it, but maturity not there and justice is still playing out in your favor. Karma is still playing out. And they're trying to sabotage that. They don't want things going in your favor. Baby, it's still going in your favor. You're still going to have wish fulfillment. That's your justice. But the fact that someone that's... Like, I'm not picking up on a younger energy. This is just someone that does not know how to act their age. Just insecure or bothered by other people. Bothered by you extremely. Because if somebody is leaving their community, leaving their home... To come into your community just to project onto you, baby, please. You know they are bothered as heck. Bothered. Absolutely bothered. I don't know if a king of pentacles got his kid involved in something. Because <clears throat> I see the king of pentacles with a page of cups out here. Or maybe he and his kid might be going through something. They may be stuck in some type of court system. There could be some type of child custody situation going on. I pray that everything goes well in their case. Because as a child that we are talking about. So hopefully everything goes well. Okay. Um, you could have a king of pentacles as well. That's trying to heal and things like that. And I don't know what he's trying. Maybe he's trying to keep a court case quiet. Keep something silent. Uh keep something a uh, balance or get something fixed. I don't know what it is, but if it involves a child, I hope everything goes well, okay? While he's doing that, this Queen of Pentacles is out here paying to have someone come in and confuse you. It's said, go to this Queen of Cups, um, try to reconcile with her, 
Let her know that you know you made a mistake. You're very sorry for how things played out. You want to work things out with her and blah, 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 blah. It's all an illusion. Go in and tell her that you know this is not going anywhere. Uh, you want to work with her. Uh, she needs to let it go. And that, no, don't, don't, don't take nothing from these people. Nothing. Their karma is playing out and it's not getting better anytime soon. Don't, don't visit with nobody. Don't accept nothing from him. Whoever this man is, is it, 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 he needs help. Like, I don't know if someone fell from grace. This could be someone that's been stealing from you, trying to steal from you. Whatever this is, you may need to try to figure out how to get away from these people. That's what you need to be worried about. Instead of uh, 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 having somebody pay you to go towards a queen of cups so that you can deceive them because she wants to have her way. This queen of pentacles is finding out that she ain't going to be able to control you. This is somebody that likes to have control. Don't bring nothing to the table business-wise. And that is exactly why <clears throat> she wants to be in control. This is the loudest person in the room. This is the one that walks in the room and she wants everybody to know that she's there. She wants to feel special. But this is someone that when they come around, they're off the lights. The lights go off. The light bulbs start flickering because there's some type of demonic entity attached to this woman. We got the judgment in reverse of this woman. Some type of demonic entity. Bad karma. This is bad karma walking about. All she knows how to do is cause illusions and things like that. So this is not someone with some type of genesis qua factor to her. This is someone that copies other uh, 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 people's style, people's way of talking, people's way of acting. And this is not someone young. You'll be shocked if you met this person. You're like, what? You? You're the you're the one that's been the I'm appalled. You should know better at your age. But again, someone has never had to mature. Never had to mature. Okay? Never had to mature. And even while she's sending this king of cups to come towards you to manipulate you, to confuse you. She's worried that he's going to choose to be genuine with you. I don't know what this is. It's crazy. And things aren't going to get any better. It's the Ten of Cup, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So it's like someone is realizing that they do something to you, it happens to them. They take away from you, the universe takes away from them. There's some type of loss they're experiencing, and this loss ain't going to get any better. It's not going to get any better. Like the universe is ready to undo you. Your institute, I said it, uh, uh, an empire will fall. But first, all these calamities must come to a past. Must come to past. A mother and son relationship will be no more. The bottle will miss its companion. The mansion will become a four by itself. Strange fruits will hang from the tree. The sick will seek healing but will not find it. Okay, death is knocking at people's doors. Poverty is the road that lies ahead. I said that, but nobody's listening. And it's going to keep happening. Somebody either literally just passed away or they're about to pass away. And it won't be the first step. It won't be the last step. Okay. So I, I don't know what this woman thinks she's trying to prove. What she's not trying to prove. Something is not going in your favor. You're losing everything. And I think there's something where it says you keep going, she keeps losing. So you, you better keep going, collective. You better keep going. Whoever this King of Cups is, maybe this is somebody that used to be in the upright. And he fell from grace. So he's under some type of bad judgment with the spirit realm. And is about to lose everything. So you may want to move on and get away from these people. But as far as you and someone, I don't know if this is an ex or whoever this is. It ain't going to be no reconciliation between you and somebody. But whoever this King of Cups is in this community fell from grace. They, they fell from grace. Okay, and you may have another King of Cups that now have, that knows the truth now, that people have been sabotaging you, holding you back, causing you blockages and stalemates and things like that. So be very cautious. 
Okay, is that there's somebody I see the seven of cups to the eight of swords are here to the six of cups. Somebody is being sent to you to cause some type of illusion about it, it, it could even be something where they're causing an illusion about a, a, a relationship, an affair, or something like that. Like, oh, this person is having an affair with my husband. This person is having an affair with this person. They said there's nothing going on. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Like this, and, it, and it's this Queen of Pentacles that's doing it, working hard to cause this illusion about some type of reunion, some type of collaboration, some type, and it's all an illusion. It's a lie. Ain't no affair going on. She wants to say, oh, he had an, uh, she had an affair with my husband or my partner. She's doing this. She's the reason my uh, part, my relationship is not where it's supposed to be. Or I don't know what lie this woman is tell, telling. But she's working very hard to cause an illusion about a connection. It may even be where it's like, oh, you and that person, you're not meant to be. This person is mentally ill. You don't want to have to deal with that. Something is wrong with her. I just feel like uh, it's not right to, to think that way. I just feel like nobody cares how you feel. I just, nobody cares what you think. Nobody cares. Like the amount of sorrows you're about to be going through, you don't even know it. And I feel like you're already going through it. I keep, I, I keep hearing a woman's passing out somewhere, like losing her temper, yelling. But when she comes out, she's trying to act like everything is okay. So I don't know if she waits till she gets home to spaz out or she closes her office doors and spaz out or something. But there's, uh, there's a queen of pentacles that's losing her mind. But even though she's losing her mind, she's still going to keep paying to cause illusions, to cause you problems, to cause you blockages. This is a different level of sickness. Ain't no healing for this sickness. This is a kind of sickness only you can get yourself out of it. Nobody else can help you. You can go to a therapist. You can go to a psychiatrist, counselor, whoever. Ain't no medicine for this. You are the only one that can get yourself out of this kind of sickness. Because you're the one that voluntarily put yourself in there. It is nice to go to a psychiatrist. You need a psychiatrist. Forget a counselor. You need a psychiatrist. Like They need to write you a prescription. Personality disorder. I don't know if they got medicine for that. I doubt it. But they need to give you something that will help your, your, uh, your, your nerves calm down. Your mental. I don't know if you got anxiety or something like that. Something to just help with your mental. Mental health is very important. Yours is out of whack. And you are in denial. Denial is a river in Egypt. Your mental health is not where it's supposed to be. It is not where it's supposed to be. You're still out here trying to steal from someone, cause them problems, uh, break their hearts, have them isolated, rejected. And there's somebody behind the scenes that don't like any of it. I don't know if he bonded himself to it. You're pissed up because somebody sees a Queen of Cups as the Queen of Cups. They're showing up as a Queen of Cups for a reason. They're showing up as a Queen of Cups for a reason. If somebody is showing up in a Queen of Source energy, that's because you all put them there. And they don't want nothing to do with any of you. So you can't be mad. This is the path that you took with. The, this is the path you took with somebody. They came off. They started with you as a Queen of Cups, Page of Cups energy. And you said you saw them and you said, oh yeah, we're going to take advantage of that one. We're going to destroy this one. Life support, life support, life insurance. I don't know if you took a life insurance policy out on somebody. We're going to do this. We're going to take them out. It's a lot of money on the line. So hypothetically, you went and took a life insurance policy out on somebody. And you were assume uh, you were uh, uh, um, awaiting some type of financial payout after you have them taken out. Is that you're gonna meet them here, take them out? They live in this apartment. We got keys to the apartment. We manage the apartment, the condo, the house that they're renting. We manage it now. So when on this day here, you're gonna sneak in and you're gonna take them out. They can never get their hand on this abundance that belongs to them. They can never find out that we took out a life insurance policy on them. They can never find out that this business owner left them 
that my uh that, that this man left them some money or property or inheritance they can never find that out so we're going to take them out before they find out we're going to hire them we're going to steal their money we're going to misuse their money buy uh, uh these businesses start businesses with their money and things like that and nobody's ever going to find out and then you realize it ain't so because the universe has been all over you the whole time and you didn't know it so in the end, you're going to end up having to pay somebody way more than you even stole from them. And you've still been trying to steal from them in some cases. Other cases, this is someone that just doesn't want you working in the company. <clears throat> she don't want an a, a, a institution giving you a contract. She doesn't want an institution uh, 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 working with you because she knows when you get into that institution, it's game over for her. She don't got no talent. This is somebody that got to pretend to be to be talented. So you're going to see right through every lie that she tells. She's been pretending to know what she's talking about. She don't. And you're going to see right through that. So she opens her mouth and says, oh, da, 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 da. You're going to say, no, nah, it's not that. That's not true. Embarrassed. You, she, you, when you come into the company, she can't control you. Maybe this is somebody that likes to have control, have people crawling on their knees and things like that so that they don't lose their job. If she don't, if, if you, if you uh, question her authority, she messes with your money, like just insecure, just pathetic. No type of emotional uh, uh, control, nothing. But this will be someone that will project onto someone else and say, oh, you know what? They don't have any emotional control. They're out crazy. They're, 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 uh, 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 they're crazy. They're impulsive. But this how are you going to call somebody impulsive, but you're the one taking money out of your account because you're out here paying for manipulations? How are you going to call somebody? How are you going to call somebody crazy, impulsive, reckless, uh, unstable, insecure, all of that? But you're the one taking money out of your account to pay people. Do you know how dumb that looks? That's what clowns do. You're taking money out of your account to go and pay a third party to block somebody or to lie about somebody or to confuse the, 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 the mass about some Like, do you know how dumb you look? And this will be the person that walks around and say that they're smart. I'm smart. I'm educated. Not educated enough. Your degree, since you got your degree, like the that Monique says, since you got your degree, your degree didn't teach you common sense. Heck, every, almost everybody out here got a degree these days. <laughs> that don't mean that they got skills. <laughs> that don't mean they got talent. They just got papers. You got the papers, but that don't mean you got the skills. You got to actually learn the skills. So your degree, my instance was about to say F, your, F you and your degree. Listen, uh, uh, uh. Listen, your degree is irrelevant. You don't got the skills. You don't got the talent. You don't even got the... The ethics, the morale, you don't got the personality, nothing. You got to fake it all. You don't get tired having to fake being compassionate. You don't get tired having to fake being happy. You don't get tired having to fake your whole life, your whole person. It's, it's all fake. It's all fake. Ain't nothing genuine. Everything you say has been preached and practiced. It's been practiced before you preach it. You don't get tired of that. Got to memorize this line. Tomorrow when I go to John's uh, company to have him work with me so we can block this star. See, I need to make sure I remember what I need to say. I need to control the narrative and the direction of the conversation. So I'm going to make sure I stay in control. This is how I'm going to say it. Da, 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 da. Make sure the sentences are not too long. Make sure that I don't show any expression when I'm talking to him. Make sure that I stay positive and I come off as a friend. Like this woman practices all of this. Like this is cool. This could even be somebody that stands in the mirror and repeats all kinds of nonsense to herself. You know, like how, let's say for, for instance, you standing in, I am the empress. I am gifted. This would be someone even pretending to see things that you don't see. You don't got the eyes to see. It's on lockdown. It's not activated. I picked up on a Queen of Wands that does that too. Don't got the gifts. You got to reside in specific energies to have those clears and things like that. And when you when they activate them in you and you start misusing them, 
Yeah, you know they don't they don't it, it ain't nothing but a puff. <clears throat> They'll be pitching with you. <clears throat> but it's they, they can just off it. There's a queen of swords reverse in a community. She comes she, she says she's a high priestess. Ain't no high priestess. Don't got no gifts. She don't have no gifts. Whoever this practitioner is in this community don't have no gifts. It's empty. This is why she has to manipulate. Because people people that have gifts don't got to manipulate. This is why she has to manipulate. This is why she has to, you know, get into systems and do this and do that. Because she don't got no gifts. The gifts, her gifts is manipulation. Manipulation is not a gift. Again, it just says I'm incapable. So I would get it by all means necessary. Manipulation is not a gift. It, it it's not a gift. Sorry to tell you. But anyways, collective, you get wish fulfillment. Karma is playing out. Justice is like it's a lot of divine intervention cards out here. We got the judgment. We got the sun, the justice card. Like whatever is taking place, and then we got the devil out here as well. Whatever is taking place, is kind of some type of justice playing out. And yeah, I don't think it's the kind of justice these people were hoping for. I don't know if they helped somebody steal something from you, take something from you, or whatever this is. Everything will be balanced out. <clears throat> it's a, a company that's about to lose it all. Or maybe they already did. Bankruptcy. I keep hearing bankruptcy. Bankruptcy. Okay. Anyways. Thank you so much. Oh, illusions about a com company. Ah. About how much money a company has. So I don't know if people invested in some type of illusion. What is the illusion? Because I see, because I hear something about bankruptcy that there's a lot of money or what. I don't know what this is, but there's some type of illusion going on about somebody's money, bank account, inheritance, ten of pentacles, whatever this is. It'll it'll be sorted out. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next week. Goodbye for now.